this in the reverse they feel pisces when they're around you they feel like you know a lot more than you say they feel like they don't know how you know things about them they don't know how it is that you it's like they could think about something and all of a sudden you say it out loud okay it freaks them out they've never been around someone who's as intuitive as you pisces and high priestess in the reverse pisces to you this is natural you may not even know that you're doing this but your intuition is very heightened um, and we have moon energy and high priestess. Both of these cards represent your energy and it does talk about your intuition. It does talk about your psychic abilities, your ability to connect, your ability to really read between the lines and pick up the energy that's coming in and not just what someone's saying. And so what I'm getting here, Pisces, this Knight of Wands, they're very drawn, they're very attracted towards you. And the way that they feel is not the way that they treat you. It's not their actions don't reflect how they feel. Okay, their thoughts and their actions, like there's some kind of disconnect there, Pisces, whereas this person can have deep feelings for you. They can really care about you, but their actions are, um, could be very immature, could be very flighty, could be very inconsistent. Um, Knight of Wands in the reverse can also have some, some narcissistic tendencies or narcissistic qualities. Um, could be driven by their ego, could let their ego get in the way of the connection because I'm seeing the lovers in the reverse and clarifying the lovers in the reverse, we have the Ten of Swords, whoever this Knight of Wands is in the reverse, whenever they're around you, they feel uneasy, okay? They feel a little bit uneasy, they feel a little bit nervous. Um, it's like they don't know how you know so much, okay? It's like they feel, Pisces, that you know things before they even say it. It's like they can't get away with lies, like they can't get away with, you know, um, just any kind of like surface level answers. It's like they know that you know more than you say, okay? And that makes them a little bit nervous around you. Like that makes them anxious. And for some of you Pisces, like this person may come in really hot and then all of a sudden start to avoid and ignore and kind of create distance. And the reason why is because high priestess in the reverse. Pisces, this person is afraid of your intuition. They're afraid of your psychic abilities because you know a lot more than you say. And it's like they feel that okay pisces they know that um and so what i'm getting here is this person this person was very inconsistent with you and you started to become very unavailable so you reward rewarded their inconsistency with unavailability is what i'm seeing here because to clarify the high priestess in the reverse we have the eight of pentacles your focus and your priorities are on your craft, on your work, on your business, on your career, whatever this is, the Eight of Pentacles is all about getting to work, okay? Whether it's your career, your business, um, however you make your money, whatever it is that you're monetizing, they know that they're not the priority in your life. They know that they don't have the front and center stage in your life, okay? Like, you don't revolve around this person, okay? Whereas this person may be used to, you know, people coming to them. So Knight of Wands in the reverse, Pisces, this person feels and they know that they are not your priority. They know that you have other priorities in your life. Eight of Pentacles says that your priority is your money. It's your business. It's your career. It's your craft. It's your skills and your experience. And this is what you're focusing on. Eight of Pentacles clarifying the High Priestess, your card, Pisces. And so this person... The way that they are, Pisces, the way that they're showing up is very uh, selfish, very egotistical in a sense because they're used to the world revolving around them, okay? The Knight of Wands can be someone who seeks attention, who seeks validation, who wants to be, you know, the center of attention, who, who always wants to be, you know, the topic of discussion, and they know that that doesn't happen with you, okay? They're showing up as a Knight of Wands, you're showing up as a High Priestess Major Arcana, and then we have Moon Energy, High Priestess Pisces, your energy is very very intense okay your energy is very big it's very much felt in the room um, and so they're not used to that Pisces you're very different okay from this person um, they're showing up as a knight of wands could be a fire sign doesn't necessarily have to be we also have Gemini uh, Virgo and yes uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius and death and rebirth is Scorpio so Pisces whoever this person is in your life um, it's like they never encountered a person like you, okay? They've never encountered um, someone of your caliber in a sense. And it's like they feel like they can't get away with things when it comes to you because there's a lot that you don't say, but they know that you know in a sense. Because both the moon and the high priestess talks about intuitive abilities. Um, it talks about having a very strong intuition. It talks about psychic abilities. It talks about trusting your gut feeling. It talks about, you know, being connected to the unknown 
and some way somehow it's like you channel that information and you know things Pisces you know things you can you can tell when a person's lying um, and you're the kind of person where you just you just don't listen to words or promises like you can really read between the lines and the best thing about you Pisces is you read energy so you know when something shifts you know it's when something's off and um, you're very quick to cut people off you're very quick to create distance and that's exactly what I'm seeing right here knight of wands in the reverse this person was inconsistent with you so you became unavailable to them okay so you rewarded their inconsistency with unavailability because I'm seeing tower moment coming in you were a tower moment to this person Pisces it's like you put this person in their place. It's like, uh, whether you know it or not, Pisces, you humbled this person, okay? Because the Knight of Wands is someone who's used to being the center of attention. It's someone who craves attention, who wants to be the discussion, and it doesn't, like, that doesn't phase you. Like, that doesn't go with you. And the High Priestess in the reverse to the Moon energy, it's like, you keep quiet a lot, okay? It's like, you mind your own business. Um, you're focused on your craft. You're focused on your work, on your career, on your business, whatever this is. And it's like, you don't really... You don't really engage with this energy. You don't really play into these games. So to this person, it's like, wow. It's like they've never encountered someone like you. It's like you might have been the first person to reject them, Pisces. Like they're not used to that is what I'm getting here. Because then we have the lovers in the reverse. Lovers in the reverse talks about a separation, okay? And then we have ten of swords, knight of swords, clarifying the lovers in the reverse. Um, Gemini energy. So what I'm getting here, Pisces, you were a tower moment to this person, okay? You were a massive, you know, wake up call, a massive breakthrough. Um, but most importantly, it is a tower moment because the way that they've been living life, the way that they've been going about things is like they never encountered a person like you that just humbles them. OK, it's like you humble them without even trying. Pisces is what I'm getting here because tower moment is clarified by the five of cups in the reverse. This person, Pisces, whether they're showing it or not showing it. Five of Cups is uh, energy of being hurt, okay? They are hurt, uh, you know, their their feelings got hurt in this connection. And this is what I'm getting. Like, this person may have feelings for you, may have emotions for you, but their actions and their words don't reflect that. It's like, it doesn't, um, it's not, some way, somehow, it's like not aligned, okay? It's like they could feel some way, they may want to say something to you, but their actions are completely different, okay? It's like they can even just portray this image of being a player or being nonchalant or not caring, but the reality is you were a tower moment and five of cups, okay? Their feelings got hurt. You humbled this person, and now I'm seeing death and rebirth in the reverse. Pisces, this person hasn't... Um, this person hasn't encountered anyone like you and they feel like they're forced to change when it comes to you like you some way somehow being in your power staying in your energy staying in your lane forces them to upgrade to level up to meet you in the same place okay because you find yourself in a major arcana they're showing up as a knight in the reverse okay so it's like when they're dealing with you they're forced to kind of you know level up in a sense and they're avoiding this transformation they're avoiding, and I just saw 1111 on the clock. They're avoiding this transformation because it means that their old ways are going to have to change. Like they can't go about life the way that they have been. Um, and yeah, Knight of Wands is very inconsistent, very flighty, uh, very impulsive, very immature. Could be, you know, someone that lets their ego get the best of them. Um, again, it's like they want to say something to you. They want to be real or have an honest conversation or they want to compliment you or tell you how they feel. But it's like this this facade, this player mask that they wear doesn't allow them to do so. So it's like, this is the kind of person, Pisces, who ends up hurting a lot of people. It's like they, they may be a heartbreaker, but it's like the first time that they get their heart broken or their feelings hurt. It's like the first time they're actually being humbled. And this is why the tower is here. You were a tower moment, Pisces. You humbled them. And so the lovers in the reverse, there is some kind of separation here, okay? And I don't know if this is because they were being inconsistent with you, so you're no longer available to them, like you're no longer giving them access to your energy, to your time, to your resources. Uh, but the lovers in the reverse is a separation. And right beneath the lovers in the reverse, we have the Ten of Swords. Pisces, you ended this, okay? You ended the situation, and now Nine of Swords, they're coming back in, Pisces. They're coming back in, they can't let go of this, okay? This is the first time that it's like what they do to other people is like it's it flipped on them like you were some kind of karma to this person it's like they've never seen the other side of what it is that they do it's like this kind of person doesn't have empathy it's like they just do things and they don't think about 
hurting someone else's emotions. They don't think about the other person. And it's like with you, it's like you flipped it. You were some kind of mirror to this person to where you mirrored their energy back to them. And so Ten of Swords, I see you ending this. And Knight of Swords, they're even more driven and more dedicated to making this work because they feel like it's a challenge. This person feels like this is a game, okay? I don't know why it's coming in this way, but they're, they're showing up as very determined to come back into your life, Pisces, after some kind of a tower moment here. Yeah, okay, Pisces, wow. This person, Pisces, I don't know if this is like something that's happening subconsciously or consciously, but it feels like a game, okay? It's like you are the first person to reject them or you are the first person to end something with them, okay? It's like they usually do this to other people, but you mirrored back their energy and they don't like being on the other side of what it is that they do. And so now Knight of Swords, now they're coming in very dedicated. The fact that you placed an ending, okay, the fact that you walked away, is like that's making them want you more. That's making them want to come in more, okay? So for this person, Pisces, this may be a game, okay? Like they may just play all these mental games is what I'm seeing here because they're showing up as two knights, whereas you're in major arcana position here. Yeah, this person's a lot less mature or a lot less spiritually advanced. Um, not to say that anybody's better than anybody, but you are showing up in major arcana energy, whereas they're showing up as a knight. Um, tell me more about this person, Holy Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know about this knight of swords? Okay, so the knight of wands in the reverse and the knight of swords in the upright is the same person is what I'm getting. Uh, it could be an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, could be any sign, but those are the ones that are coming up the most. Um, but yeah, this is showing up as the same person. When they came into your life, they showed up as a Knight of Wands. You ended this connection, Ten of Swords, and now they're showing up as a Knight of Swords after the Tower moment. Yeah, Pisces. Okay, this person has a poker face. They may act nonchalant. They may act like they don't care. They may act like they're, you know, unaffected, unfazed. But deep down, Five of Cups in the reverse, they're hurt. Okay, they are hurting. Um, and I don't get that you did this intentionally. It just feels like you mirrored back their energy. And they're, they're getting a taste of their own medicine, in a sense. Like, you were their karma, okay? Death and rebirth, they are resisting the transformation. They want to stay in this player energy. They want to stay in this knight energy. Um, but yeah, it's like, it doesn't work with you. Like, you are unfazed. You are unaffected by the situation. It feels like you're off to the distance. You're doing you. You're minding your own business. And you're focusing on your career, on your business, on your work, on your craft. Whereas this person, Pisces, you live rent-free in their mind. Okay, you're all this person thinks about because they feel like this is a challenge. Okay, they feel like this is a challenge. It's like in your mind, Pisces, this is over. You're not playing the game. In their mind, they're seeing that as a challenge, like they want to try harder now. Okay, tell me more about this Knight of Swords for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about this Knight of Swords, Holy Spirit? Please clarify. What do you want Pisces to know, Holy Spirit? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Okay. Okay, wow, that's a lot of cards. Um, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Magician in the reverse, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, the Eight of Cups in the reverse, exactly, Pisces. You walked away from this person and they can't accept it, okay? They can't accept the fact that you walked away. Page of Swords in the upright, and then we have the Queen of Swords in the upright. Wow, Pisces. Okay. Yes, this makes sense. Queen of Swords in the upright. This is the no BS queen, okay? You're not taking BS from anybody, Pisces. Like, you're done. Even if you have to lock your emotions away, even if you have to put your feelings aside, you're gonna do what you know is right. You're not gonna let your feelings or your emotions guide your decisions, okay? And that is, um, that's one of the things that is very hard for the water signs because water signs are... Um, they are tapped in and sensitive to their emotions, but intuition and emotions are two different things, okay? Sometimes people confuse their emotions and their feelings with their intuition, but those are two different things. And so what I'm seeing here, Pisces, instead of going off of what you feel, instead of going off of your emotions uh, or confusing your emotions with your intuition, it's like you're going based off of what you already know to be true. So you are taking things at face value you're keeping a very level head position and you are very unbiased by the situation. So you are taking into account their actions, their words, 
the facts of the situation and putting your emotions aside when you make a decision, okay? Um, and I'm saying when you make a decision because it looks like, Ten of Swords, you already ended this. Eight of Cups in the reverse, you walked away, Pisces, okay? The Eight of Cups coming in is a walking away energy. You walked away from this connection, but it looks like they're coming back in. Knight of Swords, they're making their way back in. They see this, Pisces, it's like to them, it's all a game. They see this as a challenge. They feel like you're the one that got away and now some way, somehow, maybe they think in their mind that you're playing hard to get, whereas you're just done. This is over. You don't play games. Pisces, yes. Okay, um, what I'm going to say is your level of maturity is a lot more, um, you have a lot more wisdom to you. You have a lot more maturity to you, again, because you're showing up as major arcana, major arcana, and they're showing up as a knight. Uh, it doesn't have to do with years or age, but they are showing up less mature than you, whether this is emotionally, spiritually, mentally, because they see this as a game, okay? They see it as a challenge, whereas to you, it's like you don't play games. When you're done, you're done. When you walk away, you walk away. When you say it's over, it's over. Whereas this person is like, yeah, it's like they're playing this game. First, they're inconsistent, hot and cold, okay? Um, they think the world revolves around them, and then all of a sudden, you cut them off, you walk away, they go through a tower moment, five of cups, their feelings get hurt, and all of a sudden, they're coming in stronger, okay? They're trying to make their way back in, they're very dedicated, and they're rushing back in, knight of swords. Knight of swords can also talk about communication, um, you know, taking in action, you know, phone calls, emails, text messages, trying to connect with you. Um, the Knight of Swords can also be a stalker energy, so they may be keeping tabs on you, Pisces, but what I'm getting here is you're incognito mode. Both the Moon and the High Priestess in the reverse talks about uh, being silent, okay? There's not, they don't know a whole lot about you, like you're very private, okay? So it's like they're, they're trying to keep tabs on you, they're trying to stalk maybe your social media, maybe ask people around you. The Knight of Swords can also be very nosy in a sense, like poking around to see what they find out but you're showing up incognito, Pisces. They can't feel your energy. Hermit in the reverse, they can't feel your energy. And this is why they're rushing in because they think, okay, like it's over. If I don't act now, like it's done, but you were done a long time ago, okay? You, like this was over for you a long time ago. Like you're not playing games. So 10 of wands in the reverse, 10 of swords. Um, yeah, both of these tens talks about an ending of a journey, an ending of a cycle. It's completed, it's done, it's over. You don't want to deal with this. Why is this person all of a sudden rushing in, Pisces? Pisces, what I'm getting here is maybe they were just testing just to see like how you would react. Maybe they were just trying to see, you know, it's like it's very hard for them to get a read on your energy, okay? Because both the moon and the high priestess are private, okay? Incognito. It's like you don't know much about them, okay? You only know what they want you to know, okay? It's like you, Pisces, you're very private and you value your privacy. You don't have your business out there. Um, so it's like if they know something about you, it's because you intentionally want them to know that. But you're not, you're not like, you don't put your business out there. Like you don't really care too much for attention, whereas they do, okay? Knight of Wands in the reverse, they crave attention. They wanna be the topic of discussion. Um, so yeah, Pisces, I don't know what triggered this person to all of a sudden want to come in and rush in. They're being inconsistent with you here, with the Knight of Wands. They were being inconsistent with you with the Knight of Wands in the reverse. All of a sudden, you're no longer available to them. You cut off access to them, okay? And they go through this tower moment, five of cups, their feelings get hurt, and all of a sudden they're rushing back in after 10 of swords, after this ending. So I'm trying to put this together, Pisces, because there's a lot coming in for you. Um, they do view you as someone who is very abundant, someone who has it figured out. Um, Pisces, this person may have put you on a pedestal, in a sense, with the queen of pentacles, like they feel like you're very stable, very grounded, like you have it figured out, like you make it look easy, okay, with the queen of pentacles coming in. Magician in the reverse is showing up as them. And we got two Gemini cards here. So Gemini, Gemini, uh, Knight of Swords, Air Sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then we have a Fire Sign. So it may be one of these signs. Um, do apply it to your situation. Magician in the reverse is someone who manipulates Pisces, someone who has a hidden agenda, someone who has intentions. Um, Pisces, this person, this person, Pisces, may just be trying to get their ego boost off of you you know it's like saying oh i dated pisces oh i was with pisces or you know it's like that that could be 
you know, part of what's coming in because the Knight of Wands can be an attention, you know, I don't even want to say the word, but it's someone who craves attention, someone who wants to, someone who can even be intentionally loud or create drama just so that they remain the center of attention, okay? This is a very, um, yeah, it's a very shady energy, but the Magician in the Reverse is someone who has a hidden agenda, someone who likes to manipulate, okay? Um, yeah, whereas you're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in the Reverse, Pisces, this, this connection was not balanced. There was not an equal give and take in this situation. And I'm also seeing that you guys are on two very different levels when it comes to maturity, okay? Um, again, Major Arcana to Knight, Knight. They're showing up as a Knight. They're not even showing up as a King or a Queen. They're showing up as a Knight. Uh, whereas you're in this Major Arcana position. So it's like there is no equal give and take, okay? Um, it's like two very different people. It's like they're attracted and they're drawn towards you, but it's like there's no there's no match here in a sense. It's unreciprocal. It's unbalanced. Um, and then we have the Eight of Cups, you walking away, Page of Swords, all talking, no action. Say a lot, okay? Um, they could lie a lot without even like a second thought, without even blinking, okay? They could like look you in the eyes and just lie. But their words are empty because High Priestess, you don't just pay attention to their words, you read their energy. So Page of Swords coming in, their words are empty, you know talk is cheap, and yeah, this person is all talk and no action. Um, and it feels like you already know that, like you suspected that because I'm seeing you in High Priestess mode, you keep quiet, you keep silent. You don't really give this person much information. They don't have much to hold on to, Pisces. So what this person is doing is all they can do is assume. They're just assuming things about you but they don't really know much, okay? Because I see you going, you know, incognito mode, like your life is private, whereas this person craves attention. So Queen of Swords, Pisces, I feel like your next move in this connection, because they're showing up as a Knight of Swords, they're trying to rush back in, they're trying to come back into your life. Um, they may be asking around, trying to stalk your social media. This can also be a stalker energy to try and find information about you, uh, but they feel like it's a challenge. They feel like it's a game. They're trying to come back in, but I see you kind of like, confronting this energy in the Queen of Swords position. So you're going based off of facts, you're going based off of what you already know about this person, and you're setting your emotions aside. Pisces, I feel that a lot of you are gonna have to cut this person off for a second time, because I'm seeing here there was already an ending, and you had already walked away, Eight of Cups. So it's like a second time that you might have to address the situation or cut this person off, or just be very direct and cutthroat to this person. So they don't get their hopes up with you in a sense. Yeah, 10 of wands in the reverse. Pisces, you are the kind of person where you have a lot of wisdom because you lived a lot. You've been through many kinds of relationships, whether family, friendships, and you've had to carry the weight of the relationship. You've had to carry the extra baggage and that's like, you're not about that anymore, okay? As loving and kind-hearted as you are, like that's just not that's just not meant for you. Like that's just not your path in a sense. The 10 of wands in the reverse can talk about carrying extra baggage or carrying the weight of the relationship on your shoulders or being on this very long journey, being in relationships that drain you, being in relationships that don't really give you much, okay? It's like having people leech onto you, okay? Leech onto your energy. It's like you've already lived that, okay? 10 of wands is in the reverse. You're not willing to go through that again. And it's like you may feel like this person is very similar to people that you've already encountered. So it's like, this is not new to you, Pisces. Like you already have that experience. You already have that wisdom. Four of Swords, yeah. Pisces, you've had to heal, okay? You had to heal from connections like this. You had to heal from people that are like this, okay? So it's not your first rodeo in a sense. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Pisces, in the past, I'm gonna say this, okay? Because the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. Um, in the past, this might have affected you. This may have phased you in the past. It may have, you know, maybe made you doubt yourself or question your intuition or question your psychic abilities or um, lose your balance, okay? Like this in the past may have affected you, but not anymore, okay? It no longer phases you because you've already been through this before. You've already dealt with people that are like this. And again, we did have the magician in the reverse. That's a master manipulator, someone who has a hidden agenda. They don't have good intentions, Pisces. They may think that being with you is an ego boost, okay? So it's like their, their perspective is very shallow, okay? Uh, in a sense, the knight of wands in the reverse, it could be very shallow. They could be very impulsive. They could just be very reckless. Like they just do things without thinking. They don't think about other people. They don't think about other people's feelings. Um, 
And yeah, the Knight of Wands in the reverse can be a player. It can be a heartbreaker. So it's like encountering you was a tower moment. You, you gave them a taste of their own medicine. You mirrored back their energy. And something, okay, this is something that I know about Pisces. A lot of people that uh, encounter Pisces is like, Pisces will match energy, okay? Pisces match energy and Pisces mirror back energy. So if someone's trying to get, you know, one up on you, it's like you're just gonna mirror their actions right back, okay? And that's something that I know about Pisces and it pisses people off. Like some people get triggered about that because you're gonna show people exactly like what they are. Like you're gonna match that energy, you're gonna mirror it back to them. And it's like, they've never had that before, okay? They've never experienced anyone like you. And so it's like, Knight of Wands in the reverse, you're trying to regain balance, they're trying to regain grounding, okay, in this relationship, but all of a sudden, it's like you hit them with a tower moment, Five of Cups, their feelings get hurt, Ten of Swords, you end this connection, and now Knight of Swords, they're more motivated to come back in, so it's like, to you, Pisces, this is over, to them, they think that it's just like a game, it's just like a challenge, um, I'm gonna go ahead and clarify the lovers in the reverse, okay, uh, I want to know a little bit more because the lovers in the reverse is saying there was a separation, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please clarify the lovers in the reverse for Pisces. Clarify the lovers in the reverse for Pisces. King of Cups, Piscean Energy. Three of Wands in the reverse. Judgment in the upright. Ooh, Pisces. Yes. Okay. Yes, Pisces. We have more major arcanas coming in. Judgment in the upright. You are forcing this person to level up. Okay. If they want to deal with you, if they want to be in your life, they're going to have to level up. They can't stay in this night position. You're not going to ex accept that. Okay. And then death and rebirth in the reverse. They're trying to avoid doing the work. They're trying to avoid the transformation. They're trying to avoid doing, you know, going through the work and changing, transforming. And all of a sudden, they want to come back in. If they're coming back into your life, you're forcing them to level up. Judgment in the upright. It's like they can't even connect with you unless they go through this transition. And the, unless they go through this uh, death and rebirth process. Because their old ways are not going to cut it. It just doesn't work anymore. Three of Wands in the reverse. They're trying to delay it, Pisces. They're trying to delay the transformation. It's like someone that kind of like lies to themselves, you know, to try and hold something off as long as possible. But King of Cups, it's like you're showing up in your power and you being in your power, Pisces, and not stepping out of your position, not stepping out of character. Um, no matter, you know, how shady this person can be, it's like you stay in your place of power. You stay in your position and you're not going down, uh, you know, anytime soon just because someone approaches you a, kind of, a certain kind of way. So three of wands in the reverse, they're delaying this transformation, but if they want to come back into your life, they're being forced to judgment, to level up. This person, Pisces, might wear many masks, okay? They may have a poker face in a sense, because judgment in the upright coming in is saying that they're having to get real with themselves, you know? And this person might have had a certain kind of, you know, ego or personality about them that is not truly who they are as a person. And being in your presence or coming into your life is somehow some kind of a spiritual experience for them because they're going through the tower moment they're being forced to death and rebirth to transform and all of a sudden they're having to level up if they want to deal with you king of cups pisces wow your emotional mastery your emotional maturity is on a whole another level it's like you're showing up in your power here pisces whereas i can see them going through the transformation so judgment coming in. I do want to touch base on this card. Uh, card number 20. 2 plus 0 is 2. This is a master builder number. It's like they're going through a building phase in their life. Um, yeah, self-doubt. Hiding behind many masks. A need to let go of a shadow aspect of their story. Denying themselves and their loved ones the experience of their true essence. Um, yeah, there is no way to really understand your full potential until you are open and honest with your own hearts. Without judgment, to expand and evolve requires this colossal forgiveness of self. Forgive your beautiful soul, accept your beautiful heart, and as you do, you consciously answer the call to your highest self, and the vastness of your horizon will make itself available to you. Um, it may feel risky, yet this profound act of self-acceptance will unleash your absolute essence. You are light, shadow, and matter in consciousness, and you are a miracle. Why then do you keep your true nature hidden away from the world? 
yeah, Pisces, okay, like, this person, I don't want to use the word fake, but this person is fake Pisces, like, whoever, this personality, if they're showing up as this player, this Knight of Wands, it's just like, it's just like a mask, okay, it's hiding who they truly are beneath the surface, and all of a sudden, when they're dealing with you, it's like they're called into, they're called into their highest version, they're called into their true self, and they're not used to that Pisces, it's like, yeah, like they built some kind of personality, they built some kind of persona, like an alter ego, and all of a sudden with you, things get real. Pisces, this person might have been afraid that the fact that you are real, okay, like with you, they feel things, they feel things that they haven't felt before, five of cups. You can't get your heart broken, you can't get your feelings hurt if you don't have them, okay? So they clearly have feelings, they clearly have a heart, and you were that tower moment, Pisces. You might be the only real person around them, okay? Because this Knight of Wands uh, energy is like is like a fake version of them. Because judgment coming in is saying they're hiding behind many masks. That's not really who they are as a person. To their core, that's not who they are. Pisces, wow, okay? Whatever, okay, whatever this connection is, whatever this relationship or this experience is, is like you were some kind of wake-up call. Like, this is, this is much deeper than just, like, a surface-level connection. Like, you call people out on their stuff without even, like, without even having to say a word, okay? High Priestess in the reverse is, like, hush, like, silent, okay? Like, you just mirror back their energy, and their triggers start to come up. Tower coming in, and they're forced to transform death and rebirth. And it's like you're calling this real version of them that they're not used to, Pisces. Whatever the situation is, is very uncomfortable for them because they're not used to this. It's like they have this fake persona, but with you, it's like things got real, real quick, okay? So moon in the reverse, they feel like you know so much about them, but they don't know much about you. They feel like you're like a mystery to them. And that's part of the reason why they're attracted to you. Um, but they also feel like you have a lot of, you have a lot of wisdom and you have a lot of information that you may not just openly share, okay? Um, and they may be uneasy about that, okay? Because they don't know how much you know. King of Cups to Three of Wands in the reverse. Pisces, whoever this person is, is like they have been knowing like deep down that they have to transform, that they can't go about life the way that they have been. But it's like they try to delay the transformation as much as they could because change requires work. It requires to look at yourself, to, to look at your shortcomings, to look at your mistakes and to go through the, through the shadow work and the healing work to, you know, upgrade, to level up, to come into a real um, version of you. And so you've done that work, Pisces. You've done that work. That's why you hold so much wisdom. But this person is like, you're some kind of spiritual experience. Pisces, you've imprinted on them, okay? You live rent free in their mind because they've never encountered someone like you. Someone who's this emotionally mature, this emotionally intelligent. And it's like, Pisces, you don't, if this person tried to do things or say things to try and get you to act out of character, it didn't work, it backfired. King of Cups in the upright, like you remained cool, calm and collected and you remained in your power, okay, with the King of Cups. Pisces, if this person wants to come back in, if they want to deal with you, they're being forced to level up with the judgment. Yeah, wow, Pisces, this is intense. I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Um, I want to know more about the hermit in the reverse. That's Virgo energy coming in. Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about the hermit in the reverse? Tell me more. Okay, we have strength coming in, major arcana, five of pentacles. And we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Pisces, you, you don't really need this person. You don't really need, um, you know, someone in your life to feel like you're strong. Like, you got it. You got it on your own because you've gone through this transformation. Whereas this person, Pisces, um, deep down, they may feel like they, they may crave attention and validation from others. Because Five of Pentacles, deep down, they feel a little bit empty, Okay. This person may feel um, 37, 37 on the clock. That may be an angel number for some of you. Um, they may feel like they can't do it by themselves. So it's like they try to leech onto other people's energies. They try to, you know, get attention from the outside because inside they feel empty. They haven't done the inner work, Pisces. 
Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it can talk about scarcity, loss, feeling like you're left behind, feeling like you're outside in the cold. Um, yeah, feeling helpless, feeling like a victim. Whereas you're showing up in the strength position. You're the kind of person, Pisces, where you faced your shadows. You faced, um, you've done the shadow work, you faced your fears. And it's like, you know, you know what's on the other side. You're not afraid of the unknown. And this is why you're strong on your own, but other people are not like you, Pisces. Other people may feel like they need, you know, outside validation or someone else um, to be there with them, you know, or to, you know, get attention, to get some kind of praise for them to feel better because inside they feel empty, okay? Five of Pentacles, they don't feel like they're as strong as you. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Pisces, you're being advised to protect yourself, okay? No matter what their traumas are, no matter what their challenges are, it's like, this is not a time to be empathetic or to try to understand them, which is something that you do very well, Pisces. Spirit is saying you need to, you need to protect yourself, okay? Because even if you understand their pain, even if you understand where they're coming from and you try to empathize, that doesn't mean that they're not going to try and um, get one up on you. Okay, because we did have the magician in the reverse. This person is a master manipulator. This person can use their own pain, their own shortcomings to try to get their way with people. Okay, so if this person is giving you a sob story, okay, or they're telling you about their traumas, um, or you're trying to understand them, is like, yes, please put your emotions aside, Pisces, because Seven of Wands is spirit is saying you need to protect yourself and you need to protect your boundaries because these people, Pisces whether it's because of their insecurities, whether it's because of their shortcomings, they will turn on you, Pisces. They will backstab. They will not care. If someone feels like this inside, they're always going to search outside of themselves, okay? Whether it means that they're lying to people, manipulating people, um, you know, leeching on people, feeding off of other people, or trying to get that validation externally, um, it's like, do not get wrapped up in that mess, Pisces. Let them go through their process. Let them do their inner work because strength is showing up, you already did yours, okay? This is why you're standing in this position. They have to go through their own work and their own healing, and you have to keep very strong boundaries and you have to protect yourself, okay? Just because you can connect with someone emotionally and understand them doesn't make them a better person, doesn't mean that they're not gonna just backstab you or turn on you. Um, and that's, I don't know why the message is coming in this way, because even though this person knows that they need to change, they're still resisting the transformation. Okay, so if they can get their way, they're going to get their way. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know why Spirit is bringing this up, but there's a story, Pisces, of the scorpion and the frog. Um, and for some of you, I don't know for who that is, but that just came in. Some of you may want to look that up. Um, but yeah, it's like, Pisces, you may be the type of person where if, if you understand someone else's pain, you try to connect. Like, you try to understand and... It doesn't really matter to the other person. They're just trying to manipulate. So some people may use their sob story, may use their victim story um, to try and get their way, to try and manipulate their way into the things that they want. And so Spirit is saying, hey, Pisces, watch out, Seven of Wands, protect yourself and don't allow that to, um, don't allow them to make their way back into your life if they're not going through that transformation. Don't allow them to use their lies, their sob story, their trauma, their pain to get their way with you, okay? Um, stay in your position of strength, stay in your position of power and seven of wands, protect yourself and have stronger boundaries. So seven of wands coming in Pisces, I do want to touch base on this energy. So in the reverse, seven of wands, defending yourself, being attacked, mis being misunderstood, a need to erect energetic boundaries, a lack of preparation, giving up. Haters, they'll emerge only after you've made it onto your perch whipping their wands about and asking you to defend your accomplishments. Sometimes competition emerges as a result of shining brightly in the world. If you're feeling attacked after sharing your magic, it is important to remember that others likely want what you have. So stand up bravely and continue to do your beautiful thing. Mindfully call feelings of love and well-being into your body and create a protective bubble of energy around you. Remain synchronized and aligned with your bright vision and reject any low vibe negative states that others may be pushing on you. You don't have to accept their opinion as truth, especially when they are vying for your position. Check to make sure that you're acting in a way that is aligned with your highest values. And when you know that you are, don't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams. I am deserving of the success and I will bravely shine my light into the world. So Pisces, okay, 
Pisces, you already did the inner work, okay? This is the kind of person that they're trying to avoid doing that work for themselves. So they try to manipulate others, okay? Into getting what it is that they want. So Spirit is saying, Pisces, you need to have stronger boundaries. Because Knight of Swords, this is someone who's determined to come back in. This is someone who's determined to make their way back into your life. And that's not, like, it's not for your highest good, Pisces. It's not for your highest good to allow this person, especially because they're resisting the transformation. Pisces, they are aware of the things that have to change about them, but they're not willing to do the work, okay? They're still showing up as a knight. Um, they have to go through their process, okay? So it's like, do not put your hands in the fire for this person and do not allow, you know, do not allow them to emotionally manipulate you through their pain or, you know, through their victim mindset in a sense. It's like, keep your distance with this person. Holy Spirit, what is your advice for Pisces when it comes to this situation? What is your advice for Pisces when it comes to situation, Holy Spirit? The magician in the upright. The six of pentacles in the upright. Wow, Pisces, we just had both of these cards in the reverse and now they're showing up in the upright. Pisces, your advice in the situation is to only seek connections that are balanced. To only seek connections that are an equal give and take, that are reciprocal, okay? where you're getting something out of the connection and they're also getting something out of the connection or unreciprocal. It's like, you have to seek connections that are gonna give back to you, okay? That are gonna benefit you, that are gonna build you and not tear you down. So magician coming in, Pisces, there are things here that you need to work on when it comes to your goals, to your dreams, to your manifestations. You may be sitting on some abilities, you may be sitting on some ideas, on some hidden talents. The spirit wants you to put in the work um, to get the ball moving forward. Natural talents, powers of manifestation, creativity, resourcefulness. The magician brings forth a powerful message of creation and potential. You are magic. You have everything you need to succeed. Badass manifesting energy from the cosmos. All the skills you require, they're at your fingertips. Beautiful creator, go create. Activate the magic in your veins by focusing on your energy, willpower, and desires and actions. When you consciously step into your personal power and decide to shape the material world in this way, Every breath in, every breath out is an opportunity to carve new meanings and new perspectives into reality. If you are unsure of your ability to create the life you desire, trust in your latent potential that resides within you. Feeling less than inspired at this time reminds you that it's time to find your muse. Find your spark, find your why. With everything you need sitting in front of you like a giant universe, what is it that you desire to bring into life? And what can you do today that will bring it one step closer to reality? And the affirmation is, I can manifest the life I desire through energy and action. So Pisces, there are other things that you're meant to focus on right now. This person should not be the center of attention. This person should not be your priority or your focus, okay? Um, keep your distance, hold very strong boundaries. Focus on what it is that you're trying to create right now. This person, Pisces, do not let them distract you. Do not, like, do not let them take your focus off of what's important and only prioritize relationships that are reciprocal that are building you up, that are giving back to you and not anything that is going to, you know, cause you to lose your balance or to lose your grounding or your stability, okay? Because you've already had to do the healing work, Pisces. And if you learn the lesson, there's no need for you to repeat the lesson. Holy Spirit, any final advice for Pisces when it comes to this reading? What do you want Pisces to know, Holy Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know? Okay, Seven of Pentacles got a lot of pentacles coming in Pisces this is a very abundant prosperous month for you and there's a lot that you're working towards that's going to materialize into physical reality three of swords in the reverse I'm gonna get one last card and we have the fool okay yes Pisces you may not feel like you're ready right now you may not feel like you're ready but there's something here coming up. There is a new opportunity. There is a new beginning coming into your life, Pisces. And even if you feel like you're not ready, it's time to take a leap of faith. It's time to make, uh, it's time to make your move, okay? Whatever this is, Pisces, the fool talks about new adventures, taking a chance on something, believing in yourself, trusting your abilities. And Seven of Pentacles, you've done the work, Pisces. Continue to invest into yourself whether it's your business, your career, um, your craft, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, continue to give back to yourself and prioritize you, Pisces. And if there's relationships that are helping you, that are building you, that are bringing value into your life, 
then yes, you can give back and you can engage, but do not give back to people, Pisces, who try and tear you down, who try to distract you or derail you from your progress or who view this uh, situation as a game, okay? So I do not prioritize those people that try and play mental games with you because that's exactly what I'm seeing. Knight of Wands in the reverse is the Knight of Swords. This person sees you as a challenge. They see this as a game. Um, they're coming in at a very different level of maturity than you. Um, and not in a good way, not in a positive way. Um, this person has some inner work to do with the Five of Pentacles coming in. So Three of Swords in the reverse, Pisces. Avoid trusting people with your emotions and your heart, okay? You can't get your heart broken if you don't put yourself in that vulnerable position. And this doesn't mean that you're closing up your heart or you're closing up your emotions. It just means that you're very discerning, Pisces. You're not giving your power away to people who can hurt you. Intentionally, um, you know, want to tear you down in a sense. So three of swords in the reverse. You've gone through the healing work, Pisces, and there's a need to not trust people that, you know, are not, um, that are not meant to be trusted, you know, with your feelings and your emotions. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards from the Oracle and see what else comes in for you, Pisces. You may not feel like you're ready, okay, to do something to take the next step in your life, but it's time to take the step. It's time to take a leap of faith into your dreams. You may be sitting on an idea, Pisces. You may have... Uh, you know, a dream of yours that you're trying to manifest and materialize and spirit is saying, even if you don't feel ready, it's time to take that leap of faith. It's never going to be the perfect time. It's never going to be the perfect moment. And spirit wants you to take this leap of faith on yourself when it comes to your dreams and to release any kind of fear, release any kind of fear that's holding you back from taking this leap of faith. If you're remembering all the failures or all the things that didn't work out or all the heartbreaks, it's like release that fear because it's keeping you in the same place. And it's keeping you small. As you can see here, you know, you're meant to take the leap of faith. You're meant to take the step forward towards your dreams. And for a lot of you, Pisces, tune into gratitude. If you feel fear, if you feel apprehension or doubt, tune into gratitude so that you can, you can take the leap of faith in your life. Gratitude is going to be extremely important, Pisces. Write down all the things that you're grateful for. For some of you, journaling, okay? Journaling in the morning or journaling at night is going to help you overcome these fears. Because Spirit is saying it's time to take the leap of faith and make your dreams a reality. And we have this dream card coming up in three of your readings. So this is a sign for a lot of you, Pisces. This time, take that step. These readings are timeless. Whenever they resonate is when it's most aligned for you. If you need guidance uh, on your path, Pisces, I will link down below the information to get your personal reading. Um, but this is all I have for your reading, Pisces. Blessings. Take care.